He was the founder of American pop art in the 1960s, his canvases turning the stuff of advertisements and comic books into some of the 20th century's best-known works. Now, London's Tate Modern is holding the biggest retrospective of Roy Lichtenstein's work for more than 20 years. Jane Deeth has been to meet Roy Lichtenstein's widow for an insight into the show and the artist. You'll recognise a Lichtenstein even if you don't know the painter's name. The print-like dots, the primary colours, the industrial black lines. It's graphic and it's cult. These exclusive pictures show Roy Lichtenstein working in his studio in the 90s, jazz in the background, a spinning easel before him. He wanted his paintings to be perfect from any angle. It was pop art, but it was proper art. Roy Lichtenstein broke free of the breathless brushstrokes of expressionism, and his work took people aback. They thought it was vulgar. People were shocked. You'd, you'd come out of this sort of um, very brushy expressionist moment in American art, and suddenly you were dealing with these sort of surface level images that were from popular culture. So the avant garde suddenly became involved with, with popular culture. This painting, Look Mickey, was created after Lichtenstein's son pointed to a cartoon and bet his dad he couldn't paint as good as that. It turned out he could. He played with all sorts of images of popular culture, but they're only superficially superficial. They speak of grand themes of war and love, even as they dare us to take them for real. Lichtenstein painted works that looked like they'd been copied from comic books. He was saying even in our moments of personal high drama, we're actually just imitating the media we consume. We might think we're living desperately original lives, but are we? Dorothy Lichtenstein shared the artist's life for 30 years. He was basically uh, a rationalist and uh, kind of humanist, and, uh, but he did have this ironic sense of life. The female nude is iconic, but Roy Lichtenstein pays tribute to tradition while toying with it. I actually do think that Roy's paintings tend not to look housebroken. I mean, I think they tend to look very fresh as if they really could have been done in contemporary times as well as, God, now 50 years ago. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> Roy Lichtenstein was a master at making us take a fresh look. He said himself, the things I parody, I admire. 